everybody. Today I wanted to share some cabbie mail that I've gotten recently. I haven't done one of these videos in a while and um, I've gotten quite a few things in over the last few months so I wanted to share those with you. Um, the first thing I got was some friend mail from my friend Ben. He found me this girl. She is an Asian girl. You see she has the almond eyes. But what's most exciting is she is what's known as a transitional kid. She actually has a Coleco head and a Hasbro body. I do not think she's been rebodied. I think this is how she came. See, there's her little faded Hasbro tag. She's got the little green signature on her tushy. So she's got the smaller body. I've never had one of these before, so I was very excited to get her. Not only are the transitional kids more, less common, um, also the Asian kids are less common as well. So very excited to have this little girl. I am going to change her outfit because while I think this is very cute, um, it's not a Cabbage Patch outfit per se, and it's a little bit bright for my taste. So I might save this for somebody else and put her in something a little more pastel. Okay. The next thing I got was this girl. She is a play along and she's a head mold four. The play along four head mold is one I've been after for a while. I just think it's so sweet and so cute and just a little bit sassy. Also, I was really, really after this outfit. This was one of the play along outfits I really wanted in my collection. So I was happy that she came in this outfit with this head mold four. And not only that, she has freckles, which I think is very sweet, and violet eyes. I named her Gumdrop. No, Jelly Bean. The other one's name is Gumdrop. Sorry. I have a lot of these, and I get mixed up on the names a little bit. But this is Jelly Bean. She came right around Easter time. So, that's her. And then I also got her twin sister, Gumdrop. This was another play-along outfit that I really wanted, obviously. Because it's pastel, it's baby blue, baby pink. And she's also the play along forehead mold. She has bangs and she doesn't have freckles. But I just love this head mold. So I don't mind having the pair. So I just call them the twins. Jelly bean and gumdrop. Aren't they cute? So now I have a few play along girls in my collection. Which um, I do like the play alongs a lot. But I don't think I'll have many of them. But I really wanted those. So I was happy to get those. And speaking of play along, um, I really wanted this outfit in my collection. So I had to purchase a doll for the outfit to get this outfit. And it didn't have a shirt. I had to add a shirt. But it did come with the bows and the shoes. And I really wanted it for my head mold 17 girl with the corn silk. Because I have this girl, who's also corn silk, in the other overall outfit. And she's got her her bows and her shoes as well. This girl, I mean, this isn't a very uncommon head mold. What head mold is this? 11? 10, maybe? I can't tell. 12? I think it might be 12. Um, but she has the best corn silk hair I've ever seen on a Coleco Cabbage Patch. Ever. I've never seen one with hair this good. Um, so I just really wanted to keep her. I mean, she's got some condition issues. She has some rust spots on her face. But I just fell in love with her. And then I already had this outfit that I think came on another doll in the same lot that I got her and her in. They came in the same lot. Um, so once I put her in this outfit, I just thought that was perfect. So I really wanted to find this one for this corn silk girl. These are the only two corn silk girls that I have, um, I believe. I might have some newer ones. Yeah, my Mattel 19 is a corn silk. But as far as Coleco, these are the only corn silk ones that I have. I'm typically not a fan, but um, the lot that these two came in came with several dolls. And it was a very, very low price. And at the time, I was looking for a head mold 17. So I thought that was a really good deal for the head mold 17. And like I said, I ended up falling for the other girl and keeping her. And the one outfit, too. So, to me, it was certainly worth it. Okay. 
Um, speaking of outfits, I found on Mercari a new outfit for Isabel Marilyn. My um, soft sculpture lullaby, or lully, as they're called. Um, you don't see soft sculpture outfits come up very much. They do have some on the Babyland General website, but um, it's not anything, I haven't seen anything I've wanted lately. Like, they have the scrubs for Babyland General, and that's cute. And this is the dress that she came in. So, it's like a Valentine's dress. You know, it's kind of time-specific. And they did have a St. Patrick's one, but St. Patrick's Day is past, so I didn't really want that one. And then I saw a lady on Mercari selling this one, and I really wanted to change her outfit, so I was excited to get that. I think it's very cute, and also gave her a bow to match her new outfit. So she's got some new clothes. I keep her up on the shelf just because she was so expensive and she's just been sitting up on the shelf neglected. So I was happy to get her down and change her clothes and give her a little bit of attention. And then I also got another play along baby. This one right here. Um, play along babies aren't that hard to find, but the ones with the yarn hair, are a little bit more difficult to come by. I really wanted one and I really liked how that was like this like rose gold strawberry blonde kind of color. This is what's known as a tuft when they just have this little bit of hair. I would like one with yarn hair that has more hair but I found this one I think she was maybe nine dollars so I thought that was a really good price for the yarn hair plus I loved her outfit. It's coming up a lot brighter on camera but it's like a baby blue and baby pink you know my Cinderella colors that I love. She has a very sweet face, so. And she's a tiny little thing. She's like the size of, a little bit smaller than Isabel, so maybe seven, eight inches? Because I believe Isabel's nine inches. But yeah, a little tiny baby. She has her bow. So, happy to get her, so now I have a play-along baby, too, with the yarn hair. And then the other little baby that I got was this, this one. Um, I guess it's a girl, because it did come in this pink diaper. So this is a Hasbro baby, and this is what's known, um, is it teeny tiny? Yeah, teeny tiny preemie. I always want to say little bitty, but it's teeny tiny preemies, and these are from 1992. Um, initially, I wanted to get the teeny tiny twins, where you get two of these. Um, but I was having a hard time finding some. People sell them in the box, or they're not labeled properly I and mean, you just have to search through pages and pages of babies or people do have them labeled right and they're expensive like I'm watching one that's $16 and it doesn't even have the diaper and it's only one twin it's not both of the twins but they also made these which are just like the teeny tiny twins but you only get one and the biggest difference is they all have this painted hair which is what I really wanted that's what drew me to them but the preemies have these extra little highlights painted on right there. So that's how you can tell. I mean, it's on the tag as well, but if you're looking and it's not in the listing, that's how you can tell the difference between the um, teeny tiny preemies. I always, I want to say itty bitty. I don't know why. The teeny tiny preemies and the teeny tiny twins. So that is all my cabbie mail. It's a whole lot. <laughs> We've been just stockpiling them, waiting to make a video, waiting for school to end so I could share all of these with you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing all my cabbie mail. Thank you for watching. Remember, the world is a better place because you're here and you matter. Have a great day. Bye!